Mruti Mtalane is taking his swan song to his hometown of Peter Marisberg. Mvelo Boxing Promotions calls it Mtalane's homecoming. The 39 year old is proud to go back to where it all started for him. I would like to thank so much Mvelo Shezi of Mvelo Boxing Promotion for staging me this fight as my last fight. Uh, not just staging it, but in, in my hometown town in Peter Marisberg because me I'm from Lotene I grew up it at Impendle so it's very close to Peter Marisberg so that will give a chance for all the people I know and people who I grew, I grew up with to come in their numbers and support me there so I'm very happy that I will finish my box my I will do my last fight in front of my home crowd Ntalane was first trained by his father before joining the late trainer Nick Durant in Johannesburg, where he achieved most of his success, including winning his first IPF title and the IPO championship. He first won the IPF World Championship in 2009 and defended it three times. As boxing gradually lost its popularity in the country, especially due to boardroom problems at Boxing South Africa, Ntalane was one of those who were affected badly. In 2013, he was stripped of the title because of inactivity. The man from the Mbenle local municipality in Guazulu Natal later teamed up with Colin Nathan, who helped him win the IPF title again in 2018. He held on to his title until last year where he lost to Sunny Edwards in England suffering only his third defeat in 42 fights. Yeah, I'm so emotional right now as I'm going to fight for my last fight, but I'm so proud of myself because all these years I've been a professional boxer and it's, it's been not easy, it's been ups and downs. There were times that I wanted to quit boxing, but I thank God because he gave me the strength and the power until now. Uh, and I've managed to become a world three times world champion, which, me, which is not easy as a boxer. There are so many boxers who quitted boxing and who retired from boxing, but ne they never achieved what I achieved. He prides himself on hard work and for him, it paid off in 2019 when he became the first boxer to win the Sportsman of the Year award during the SA Sports Awards. I was nominated with the best uh, athletes in the country, like Chetty Claus and that other guy, I forget his name, we were three. But uh, I didn't think I was going to win it, but uh, I was so shocked and surprised when they announced my name that I'm the winner, so I'm very proud of myself. He has now been doing his research on his next and last opponent. So it's a promising boxer and it's not going to for the first time I meet him. 2019 when I was in Japan, we, we fought in the same card. I won, he lost, but I don't undermine him. Oh, he's very strong, but this time around, no. He won't disturb me because I need to, to, to finish my boxing career on a high note. So I'm going to win this fight for sure. Ntalanes last dance will be at the Peter Maritzberg City Hall on Sunday. Mtutuzin Lovo, SAPC News, Johannesburg.